Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. From right back. Stamping on the Back Porch. Welcome to another Thursday Facebook Live. Today it's going to be all about the beautiful poinsettia set. I have, um, I don't know how many cards, but lots. And we're going to do a couple of things using the shimmer paint too with that. So we'll be doing a bunch of things. But of course, first we have mail. Not so much mail. Tim was just saying, oh, this is probably the smallest amount we've had in the, in the ages. But we're always thrilled to show things. So while Tim is figuring out where to find the comments, I will start. So Brenda Yeast from, oh, this is to both. Oh, they're all to both of us. No, I can't do no, it without him. No, okay, just start. Oh, can I find some without you? Just a second. Okay. <laughs> I can't open. I, I can't share can't what's addressed to both. We find where okay. So what we're using today, I will show that we're using the Poinsettia Place Suite. So it's on page 15. And look at this gorgeous paper. We're going to do one of that. So just so you know what we are looking at. Okay, we are on. Okay, okay good. Welcome, everyone. Oh, it's so fun to have. So many of you on. We just so appreciate this and we look forward to this time. You know, I put this little thing on this. I just don't know when to stop. When to stop. I will tell you this little preview while I'm waiting on Tim. Luann Blade, who comes over every week to help me, I just said, just do, do a bunch of the poinsettia pieces. I'm not feeling inspired, but then I'll have something to look at. So I had put a picture up, so I had these all over. But this is how I work with stamp sets too. And I'll have all these to come back to because today won't be the end of it. I have some other ideas in plan that will show up later. But um, then when I work with them again, I can spread them out again. That works for me better than trying to come up with one card and then I do all the pieces put together and made, I, you know, I, I just like, um, like Luann said when she left, just looking at that, I can see lots of ideas in my head for what you do with them. I said, yeah, and that's what I love. But back to cards. <laughs> But the person that couldn't see any ideas, me. <laughs> but that's okay, Tim. No, that's okay. I'll, I'll okay. come up with something, you know, for you to do. It'll be really fun to see what I do today because Karen says I'll, I'll tell you when the time comes. So. This is from Brenda Yace from uh, Pennsylvania, but I want to show her little stamp on here. It says snail mail. This is not a bill. <laughs> on the back it says happy mail. <laughs> How fun is that? Ooh, and this is gorgeous. Oh, how fun. Oh, and this was a thank you for winning one of the things on our game show. How cool is this? I have to tell you, when uh, our grandson Hank was over and we were, did some videos yesterday, and then he was looking at my YouTube. I was showing him how you do keywords. I'm just showing him all these behind the scenes things. And he saw the game show and he said, oh, what is that? Do you have that? And can I do that? So I said, next time he comes, we're going to do a little daytime abbreviated Hank, and he'll have prizes to give up. I mean, he'll use our stuff. And I said, you just have to think, think of all these things. So it's really fun to um, see kind of the ideas come. What does that say? Yeah, that is beautiful. This card was made just for you by Brenda. So beautiful card and love that stamp set. Put that aside. And then we have from Illinois to both of us. Looks like a slim line. Look at that. And it's not a bill. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, love it. You know, that fold that we've done a lot of times. Look at that done. And who's it by? In the slim front? line. Marilyn Durbin. Thank. Oh, and look at, you know, this is such a great, this is the ornate garden. And it just says, thank you. And then there's all these choices you can put with it for all of your help. Isn't that um, fun? And there's a bunch of other things you can choose. So it's a great stamp set. But I love that. And that styling just works just beautifully. <laughs> um, Karen, oh, Karen Dixon, or Karen is asking about an exp a date on the $5 coupon. Would you email me that question? Because I will tell you, you guys want to use them this month. But if you bought from me and forgot to use it, send me an email so we can figure that out. So it's all good. Okay, Chris Roth from Virginia. This is to both of us. Oh, oh, a back to school card. This is what I always think of this, like just because. And look how cool that is. She's just got little uh, strips in there. So it's a strip card in the, in the apple thing. I love it. Oh, happy belated anniversary. That's great. And then she put some fun words in there. That's a really cool, cool technique. Love that. And this would be a great card 
for anyone for back to school, including, I, I always think of this, I love autumn. I love the feel of back to school. And I always feel like I'm going back to school too because I'm always learning things and fall is refreshing. This is from her again to me. Ooh, so she's been busy. Oh, delight in simple things. Love it. And there's a birthday. Oh, very nice. She said she's behind because she's been recovering from a foot infection. So hope you're healing well. So that's all good. I said that. I said that. But um, that is awesome. So in spite of the recovery, she's still sending out belated cards. I should use happy belated birthday on all my cards because they all, all go out late. I'm terrible at that. You couldn't put that away because I open the next one. Oh, okay. What? From Chris again? So she sent three cards. How cool is that? She sent happy both birthday. So she really was on a belated theme. She sent she anniversary was. and both birthdays. How cool. Look at the back of that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's very fun. It just goes and, with the balloons. Yeah, fun little happy, happy belated, belated birthday. birthday. Well, thank you, Chris. Awesome, Chris. That was wonderful. And then quickly, right before we get started, the last bit of news here is a uh, or reminder that code for this month is JWNY two S C T. You can always find the current code just by going to KarenTitus.com, and it's right there on the side. And still, no one has come through with a acronym for that and i finally just sent At out tim went to the of. post office yesterday and sent out the card kit so far for august so they're coming i'll send you the uh, pdfs in the morning oh and tomorrow night this is the weekend of our all good cards club is and, it yeah oh, i bet wow. you're excited i am it's one thing he doesn't get too involved in but <laughs> it's gonna be all about punches all kinds of things that you didn't know and all you need to do is gather your punches and some bits of paper so punches i will put a link to that it's never too late to join us, and we do it live. We have three sessions, and then the fourth one we're going to do a, going to just do a wrap up on Zoom and try that, so we can all just kind of talk about what we did. And the coolest thing is we all make different things because we're all using what we have. So they're really fun classes. Now we will get started. Okay. Oh yeah, Heather's asking me what happens to the host rewards for that host code. That's, that's a really good question. And I appreciate you asking. Um, I get to use them. How cool is that? Because it, so if you place an order that's $150 or more, you do not want to use the host code because you get the host benefits. But let's say you place an order for $60. There are no host codes with it. But when you use the host code at the end of the month, I get to combine them all and then use the host rewards. And that's what I use to buy all the things I get for drawings and also um, for the card kits I send out like the card supplies and all that. And I just, so, you know, it all kinds of come back. So it's just kind of a thing. If you forget, it isn't the end of the world. It isn't, you know, it's just fine. I still get credit, so don't worry about it. But that's what it's there for. Okay. So, and the other thing I just wanted to point out with this, with the dies, you can see I have tape on these. So I tape and then we untape and whatever Len was doing. But you know, you can when you run them through like this, then it'll all come out. Do you see how it's got that fun little detail in there? And you're doing it in just one swipe and they don't turn on you. I, that's, I use a little tape because it doesn't stick to anything but keeps these together. Okay. Um... Okay, I'll, I'll come back and read comments. I, today I have time to catch up on everything, so feel free to email. Always feel free to call me. Um, and if you, it's 612-929-1277. And you can um, always ask me questions, and if I somehow don't get back to you, let me know. First thing we're gonna do, so we're gonna just do a variety of things. This is the first one we're gonna make. And I just think, um, now this is a fun card. This can go as a card. You see it still fits called a tent card but I also wanted to show this because I thought wouldn't this be fun place settings or just to put a little message it could be a bible verse it could be a you know like for a little Christmas tea or if you're doing something at the table a little favor people could take home it also could be a card so I just put little words there but it could be anything but I just wanted to show with this oh yeah Tim I got just, me. I just think uh, yes because I I forget and you know, he's, he's, he's the finishing touch <laughs> right here. So this one, well, let's see. I'll, I'll measure for sure to see what I did. This one is three inches. This one was 
two and three quarters. And I thought, let's make one a little bit bigger. So this measures five and a half. It's still my half sheet of paper, but then I cut it off at six. So I've got a nice chunk over here to use. Scored this in half. So then to go a quarter inch smaller, this is going to be five and a quarter by two and three fourths. But the main thing is it doesn't really matter. You could use all kinds of different widths so that isn't really um, the important part of this. Karen, Mr. Carling is a math person. <laughs> yeah. But when I put this on and then I'll add my, okay, I'll add that. Oh, I mean my, uh, oh. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Just having troubles here. Did it run out? Oh, look at, am I not only a math person, Tim? Look how badly I put that on there. <laughs> I know it, I saw that. Oh, is that why you were saying that? Well, no, but I watched you do it. Oh, I didn't okay. say anything. So I we'll see if it was my cutting or if it was my visual test. You know, we can, uh, okay, much better. So now I'll put this on. And so now here's the thing. When I put this on, I thought I already had one together and I didn't. So I'm going to attach these with glue dots. Glue dots. Karen's favorite. My favorite, yep. It is my favorite thing to put together. Put these on. And then to decide, the last one I'll put a couple of glue dots on. But to decide where this can go, I could either use my envelope. Whoa, I'm doing some extra, extra <laughs> fancy envelopes there. So I could use my envelope or I could just measure here on my paper because I don't want it to be more than four and a quarter. So that's how I'm gonna determine so that it fits into an envelope. So there's my four and a quarter. I'm gonna put it right, right here. And then I'm gonna put one of these gorgeous gems. Oh, these are these little beaded pearls. I will put that on. Whoa. And I just have a fun little card and it's called a tent card because it stands up like that and something kind of sticks up above it. I don't know if that's an official name. That's what I've always called them. <laughs> so there is project number one. <laughs> yes, Hank did. We did some videos. We're going to put them up on YouTube because we're talking about um, all, all this, this stuff with him. So I, I'll let you know. They'll go up like one a week or something. <laughs> and you did show how they actually fit in the envelope. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And so that's, that's how I know it will fit in the envelope. Okay, next card. I, you know, my mom always got red poinsettias and then also pink, so it's kind of fun. Oh, well, I don't have the three different sizes here, but that's, all, that's okay, because I have one finished. So, so that would do one with pink. So this is um, petal pink. And I wanted to add just a little bit more color with it. What can you use instead of pearls? I'm gonna be using some gems on anything else. Any kinds of um, accents will work, uh, you know, inside. So I'm gonna take my sponge, work it up, and then I'm going to go around the outside and add color. And I can even kind of get in the middle there, but I don't care about it too much. It's really just adding some color in here. And um, so I would put it down here if I want to kind of color the whole thing or get more of a thing. If I really just want to accent the edges on anything, I hold it up like this and then just strike it across. You, you may not be able to see it because I, in person, I can't even see it, so. <laughs> oh, but now you notice next to that one? Oh yeah. So wow. it's a small detail. If you wanted a huge dramatic difference, you could use a darker color. But, so here's my finished one. And I think it's just fun because it's just a little, let's see, let's pretend. See, it just stands out a little more than if it were just mm -hmm. plain. It's very nice. Now, can you see that? So I think that's kind of fun. So to put this card together, I'm going to put together a couple cards, and then I just got carried away, and the rest I'll, I'll finish scissors. later. Uh, yeah, I have a scissors. <laughs> Kathy said she'd do math today because she was making some designer series paper cards on <laughs> to figure out all the details. Yes. Every now and then, you know. <laughs> Whoa, having trouble here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on. Love this pink ribbon and it's got this metallic trim. Okay, 
and you know how I like to just be speedy on video, so you'll see the finishing. Uh, I will add the blog link. I will put all the finished cards, including the ones I don't quite finish on here. Oh, that yeah, oh, that'll work. I was, in my mind, I had made this smaller, but see, it doesn't matter, and it works. But isn't that pretty? And this is um, one of the new embossing folders. I thought that was really pretty. So that's the next card. <laughs> Yes, if you have someone to borrow, Sharon says she'll borrow the set from her daughter. Because her daughter bought her. Yes, isn't it great if you've got a stamping friend or somebody close to you? And um, you can do more together. I borrow Karen stuff all the time. Right. Okay. Now to just show a couple of other things that you can do to accent things. I just, this, I'm just using markers. You could use blends. But I'm just using Old Olive and Real Red markers. And I wanted to show a couple of ideas here. On this one... We, I'm just going through and where all the little embossed things are, I am just going to color that. This is just a way to bring out, you know, blends would, I could be probably even more fine with it. But, you know, sometimes you could just grab anything. I like to show that anything works. So today it is markers and I'm not paying too close attention here. <laughs> I'm right. kind of off on those last ones. You're right, you're not. <laughs> but I just wanted to show and I'm going to show another one here. When I put these up, I'm going to have this looks a little bit more like um, a little bit more like folk artish kind of kind of a thing. But to see how this is going to give a dramatic look like that. And then I'm going to do it yet another way with doing it like this filling in more spaces. You know, we laugh about how different people do um, Facebook Lives, and I just tend to pack a lot into a short time. I, <laughs> it's because I don't complete things. It's kind of how I do life. <laughs> and, and some people can spend an hour making a card, and I'll spend 20 minutes making parts of <laughs> lots of cards. So I, I love it that we can just all be different and, and do whatever. I think I have this fear of boring you that I just feel like I better just <laughs> move it along. And you guys are so nice. You you won't let me bore you. Okay? And she says that I have ADHD. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, but I, I just love that we, whoa, that was way off. I love that we can all be different and just enjoy doing this together. So it's it's very, very nice. And this is relaxing. So this is great kind of adult coloring because you don't have to stay in the lines. I'm just sort of creating my own. And now I would do the same with the leaves. And then we're going to do something else fun with this. So just adding some depth there, and yes, and then we'll do one more. And I know of anything, I talk fast, I stamp fast, and sometimes I forget to say the whole thing. So, you know, you guys are really good about catching me and reminding me, so that's all good. Okay, now this would be the same thing, kind of bring it up, but then I thought another way we can deal with this, and see now I do need, I do need this. I'm gonna break the fibers, by kind of doing this, so it makes your paper pliable and easy to work with. And you can only break the fi fibers on one side, right? No, I could do it both ways. Oh, okay. See, I could do it that way. However I want it to go, I'm gonna go through and do it on all of these. And you know, so see, I would sit and assemble these. This is something else you can just do sitting outside or watching TV. <laughs> Oh, Sandy, that's a great comment. She says the marker colored in uh, makes it look more formal on these. That's interesting. That's a great comment. Now this is what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to kind of turn them this way. So it's a lot easier to do this if I've already kind of done it the other way. So I'm going to pinch the ends and then I will loosen them up to whatever degree I want. Um, now does anyone see a Christmas ornament coming up? That I have an upcoming time where we're going to do all kinds of different Christmas ornaments and yes the poinsettias will be perfect to do do for those I think um, 
So then we can, you know, do, do some fun little gifts too. Okay, I'm doing all of these. Tim, you're supposed to fill in the silence. Okay, oh, I and know. then I'll just pop them out a little bit because they're a little bit. But look I'm how that just gives it some added dimension. I'm just worried about what how difficult my project is. Yeah, be. yeah I'm going to make you do it. I'm just totally preoccupied about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you are. <laughs> Here's the funniest thing, doing videos with Hank. We I did one with just Hank and Tim. <laughs> Tim was not up for it. Hank thought it was a great idea. So that's <laughs> so very fun. But how fun is this? So we get a couple of more different looks. And I'm just, I was just going to put these on plain white cards, but I can do that and show you, just to show you here that, um, you know, these are just going to be really fun. So we have this one and then we'll have a flatter one. I really like how this turned out. I might have to do that to the other one too. But I think that's cool. It just gives it a little more dimension there. <laughs> Rebecca says, you show us all these fun things to do and that's why it takes me two hours to make a card. <laughs> well, well, that's great, yes. Because, you know, one of my favorite sayings is we dwell in the land of possibilities as card makers. <laughs> so that one's very fun. And now next, I'm going to do a little twist on that. And we're going to use this paper. Oh, this is that flocked paper. So I cut some, so we're going to use it as a, as a gift. So it looks like this. I cut some and I put it on white paper because this is going to be a gift on my card. That's white? Oh, under it. It's white. Because see how, see the lines here? Nice. Yeah, white under it looks cream colored kind of with that, doesn't it? So this is going to be my gift package. And then I thought I also wanted to try it on red. And you know what I used? I just used multi-purpose glue. I did not use that, you know, sometimes I show you can sponge it on and then you won't see any lines. And I thought, oh, I'll just spread the glue on and you won't see any lines. <gasps> but you do, but I liked it. <laughs> do you see how you see? I just did the glue, but it almost looks like a winter storm or something going through. So I left it on there. Now, if you don't want this look, then you would use this on a silicone pad just put some on a silicone pad, use a sponge and sponge it on, and then it will all be invisible, if that makes sense. But I thought, okay, we'll, we'll live with this. And then I'm making these a gift package. So this one I just cut off the ends. This time I figured we would, that I'd looks, wrap the ed edges around. It kind of looks like a Norwegian or Swedish flag. I think the Norwegians are red. And well, yeah, it kind of does. Okay, and I actually, I like to do things that are really easy. I'm going to use the tear and tape. <laughs> I'm going to put that on because this is kind of rough, uh, very uneven in the texture. I thought, oh, we'll just put this on and make it if, really easy. If Karen didn't talk at length about all of her shortcuts, she'd have nothing to say. <laughs> I know. I know. This is a, bo a boring video. <laughs> Okay, there. And then I'm going to put one going this way, if I can I'll figure out where I did with it. Yeah, I am having trouble here just getting this, uh, this off. It's just because, you know, we're on camera. There and... We'll put this across. Now on these, I am going to turn these over. Um, so I'm going to put a glue dot on the end, flip it over, I'll do all of these. You know, the hardest artist can't read comments, so I'm doing some of this. So, <laughs> I just, <laughs> Pam says she loves all the shortcuts, so that's great. I'm glad you, okay, so that's what's going to go on here. Now, what, now I wanted to just show you the poinsettia is going to be my bow. And so this time, and I'm only going to put on one, but if you notice, I'm taking my, my cut pieces. I'm taking this again, and this time I'm going to curve the other way. 
So isn't it fun that we just can do all these fun little variations? So you can see that's kind of turning it that way. And I already did the big one. And now I will do this one. And I'll put a different center on these, okay? So now I will, and these are going to, I'm just gonna stack them up like this just like the other ones. And what's really fun about this is because they're curved, it's just gonna give some more dimension because now I will put a couple here on the bottom. Actually, if I wanted this to be even higher, I could use a glue dot at this point. But I'm just gonna put this in and I'm going to press. Can we do that? Because that'd be good Sure, there you go, me. Tim. Now, how cool is this? Because it gives a little bit of dimension there. And this is what I'm going to put on the inside of this then instead of, because, you know, I love these gems, but I'm not going to put them on every card I'm going to send out. So, Okay, I think it's good. And then I could add like one large one or, you know what, I'm going to, well, I'm going to do some little ones. Let's do some little ones. I think that'll be fun. So you can just kind of pick and choose whatever you want to do with something. I'm going to put like five of these on. Nice odd number. I think. Uh, maybe it's four. Oh, that one didn't come off, right? I think you should have checked with a, a book on plants to okay, see. we'll go around there. To see how many little. That's right. Take, oh, my, mine can vary, but how cool is that? And then if I want to, I could add. Um, leaves in here too, but I can do that on both of these. So just another fun way of doing that. And now for, yet for something different. Let's go, you know, I, I'm a quilter. I still identify as that even though it's been a long time since I have made a quilt. And like I like to say, you know, we have five kids and three of them have quilts. You know how that goes? It's like the albums. Um, so to do a more Folk art look, this is gonna be my base. Gone with the crumb cake in the settles folder and add a little twine. So now what I had Luann cut out was a variety of Christmas paper. The, this is, I think, the Tis the Season, the six by six pack. We just took some of the reds and said, let's just have fun with seeing what you can do with kind of a <laughs> more rustic look. <laughs> so we'll do uh, something a little different. So this would go like this. I just want to see here if I, this is exactly you know, how, how, I, how, how I do this at home, but I don't talk quite this loudly <laughs> to myself. <laughs> she does and I sometimes. can decide if I want to do it like that or if I want to curl them. You know what? This time let's curl them. Where did my, oh, right here. I Let's will, just curl them up this way. I will respond. So we'll do them yet differently. I will respond to something that she's saying. She's, I'm just talking to myself. Yes, I know. You know. Because he wears his uh, earbuds, so he's always got his music on, but sometimes he'll hear me talking and go, what is that? What, what are you? <laughs> no, ignore me. <laughs> Who else talks to themselves while you're creating, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, one does not want to do that. But that's okay. We'll fix it. I did say this was a rustic card. So, you know, it might be a little tattered. I was just getting a little too aggressive there. Okay, this time I'm just going to leave them up like this. She was confusing it with a daisy, and she says, <laughs> he loves me, he loves me not. Yeah, there we go. We're going to make a whole new thing out of it. Okay, and then we'll put this on. But you know that I love you. I do. I do not doubt it. Is that the right answer? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I figured it might be. Okay, and I'm just gonna tuck this one back in here. No, oh, that'll no, be just fine. No, no, so no. here's my little um, uh, folk art thing on my folk art. Let's see, I don't really have anything too rustic. And it'll flatten a little in the mail, but it'll still keep some of its shape. So I'm just gonna put a big one in the middle here. That will work. Okay, and then I can always add words, but that's another. It's not in the middle. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm having some visual problems here today, maybe. Okay, and this needs a little, probably some words or something up in here, or some leaves, you know, I can 
I, I can still work on this. <laughs> Emily says when she, when she was working, her co-workers used to laugh at her because she had talked to herself. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, nowadays it always looks like people are talking to themselves. They're out walking, but they're really on their phones. So, so it's just kind of funny. And then, of course, we can't neglect. We are not even done yet. Is that amazing? Well, Tim hasn't done his. So. No, and I'm leaving you for last, you know. I just want to talk about, I mean, this is a perfect set to emboss, of course. So I just wanted to look here. This is just gold on white, and I think it is a very, um, just a very classy look. So we'll put one together here. And of course, words can be added later, but you so know, is that the I one don't that necessarily. This is a little uh, gun, the little uh, the heat hot tool. Air. Yes. Uh, yep. So if I put this on, see, I, I, I think ask this those, is stunning, and then I I'm going to just tuck this in. I ask those questions in case somebody's. Oh, in case. Oh, okay. hus Husband or somebody else is watching. You weren't right. really that curious. Yeah, I just. You were really just, just going to be helpful. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to squeeze a little glue dot like I like to do to stick this on, and I'm just going to tuck it, tuck it in here, because I really love delicate cards that things are a little free floating. So I I don't worry about getting everything just kind of down, <laughs> down tight. I mean, cards don't have to last forever. So you know if it gets damaged, isn't that pretty? I think. Well, how fun is that? And then let's see, we would have one of these. I'll just stick one of these on too. I just love the look of this. LeVar talks to herself because she likes the answers better. That's really <laughs> it, instead of talking to Tim. <laughs> That's what I have to tell him. <laughs> I, I don't like the answers I get from you. So I said, it's all, it's all good. I'm not sure where I want this, but I'm putting it right here for now. Okay. But isn't that a fun card? And then in the same vein, we could do the same thing this time. This is gold embossed on white, and now this one is gold embossed on red. And they're just very classy. Oh, wrong <laughs> layer. Tim is laughing because he, well, he know even it. knows that part. Well, I know, I saw it happening. And I, so I could I should, have him I, do this. I should say stuff. Yeah, I, well, laughing is fine. I, I get that. Um, I could have him do this, but um, we would be here all day. <laughs> And they would be crooked. I, we don't call you Speedy Stamper. No. Okay, so if I put this one on, and now this time I'm going to tuck in. I'm not even going to do this right now because you'll see the, but you'll see what I'm going to do. I'm going to tuck in my leaves, and again I'm going to tuck in. Maybe I'll put this like up in here somewhere. But these are just beautiful, beautiful cards, and you know you could emboss in gold and have the whole theme down here. Um, the whole theme going with embossing, but it's really fun, elegant looks. Since Hank has encouraged me to have an opinion, I like the red one better. You like the red best? Oh, well, that's yeah. a good thing to ask. What do people like better? I should put that but up and both. just see, because you know they're both pretty fun. I don't think anyone would turn down either. No. Okay, now no. we're gonna show. Good. You like those two? Uh, you know, and again, if you're gonna emboss, you can stamp you know I haven't done an embossing video for ages but you can stamp a whole bunch of things and then pour your powder on and then emboss a whole bunch at one time so it can really go quite quickly okay now we're going to use and I'm going to put I just did a video on 10 different ways to use shimmer paint because I've been getting questions about that and oh my goodness they are perfect for holiday cards so we're gonna do a couple ideas here but I'll also put a link in the description of where you can see lots more ways of using this. Okay, so I've got two here. I have Champagne Mist and Frost White, and I'm going to use Champagne Mist. Really, I kind of use them pretty interchangeably, so it doesn't really matter. First thing I'm going to do, and this isn't really for anything we're doing right here, but I just wanted to see if I could show this. Any of your, oh, and see, I can just pull from the cover right here. When I go over this, what it does is it pearlizes the paper. Uh, and we've sold paper before that's pearlized. You know, it's just stunning. I don't know how well you see this on camera, but for anything you're going to use, so that's why I thought I would just do part of it. I don't even need more right now because because uh, I'm done. But that's okay. Oh, uh, but I will use it okay. eventually. I'll put it down there. Okay. I don't know if you can 
t um, tell if the camera will do this justice, but in person, this side is pearlized, this is not, and there is a big difference. This is really fancy. So it just adds some real elegance just in itself. So I don't know, can anyone see that? But how, how cute is that? Oh, the white embossed with gold would be pretty on red. Great idea. I'll make one of those too. Good. Will you remind me, Tim? I'll put one of those up too. And then I'll do all three and see what, what people like best on the emboss. Okay. So this is one really, really quick way to do it. Okay. So I have my pad here today because today's going to be messy. So uh, here's another way. So here are my reds. And I'm going to put some of this on. And if I want to make sure I don't have too much, I'll just do that. Can you see what this is happening? It is adding shimmer to my red. And uh, it just makes this nice little, nice little coating. Now I'm going to let that dry, but then when I attach this, it's going to have this kind of a look. So let's compare that. Do we have one that was just the, one of the red ones back there? Um, just to, to show like it again. Or, sure. Or yeah, that's good. So you can just see the difference. So now this would be really pretty on this, kind of with the whites. That kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Maybe I'll add that one to this one. Um, so that's something else you can do with this. You can kind of just paint right with these daubers. <laughs> Rebecca says, let's add that to my ever growing list. Yeah, but you know, these are two little things that I don't even know how much they are, but they're not very expensive, but they really can make an impact. I, I think it's just, um, sometimes I forget to use all those little things. So it's just kind of fun. So here's another thing. Now these are just stamped and these were stamped in cherry cobbler. And um, I can either pour into the cap, I think, we'll, or sometimes I'll just pour in a block and use from there. I'm just gonna pour into the cap since this is the last thing I'm gonna do here. So, so Tim had a great idea. He was being very, very helpful. Or I can just do this. You can hear the ball in there. You always shake it before you use it because that's that um, metallic ball in there keeps it all mixed up. Okay, so we're going to do this again, and now notice what it does. It changes. I'll leave one on, no, I, I won't leave them undone, but you see how it's kind of, it's adding some color into there? So now instead of just being this bright white, it's going to be this. It's, it's like pearlized. So how cool is that? So here are two different ways I'm just putting it on your paper. So we did all oh, three ways because we did it on the designer series paper and then on a stamped image and then on your cardstock here. Okay. And then the last way we're going to use it, and this is what I'm going to have Tim do, Ooh. is uh, we're going to use uh, Wink of Stella when they get almost used up so I have a few so this is an old one you're not going to do this with a brand new one but I'm going to open this and I'm going to peel off the uh, use okay you gotta see if you have fingernails I'm going to take this out and then I'm going to pour in some rubbing alcohol yeah it does it adds that just that hint of color it, it does it doesn't like color the whole thing but it adds in a hit okay so now I'm going to pour this in very carefully. I have no idea how much I'm getting in there. Enough. Enough, I do believe. I'll set that aside. And then I'm going to add a little of my... Three, four, Whoa. four drops. Okay, and I'll close that up so it doesn't spill on my table. <laughs> and I'm going to reassemble. Oh, I gotta get that down in there. Okay, and now I'm gonna really, really mix this up and I'm gonna have Tim just paint with this. Ooh. So this is Cherry Cobbler again and I'm taking the poinsettia. Okay, and then we take the cover off. I just want to make sure it's, um, we'll squeeze a little and just make sure it's coming. Just, <laughs> just to make sure. Okay, I, guess, I don't think you um, probably know we get those puddles when we just start with. 
and I think I'm in a remedial class. <laughs> this is, but now it's ready to paint, and we'll just see what happens to it. <laughs> you sure? Yes. Look at that. So to see how it pulls in again, some of the color, oh, so and it'll pull even more if you go like from the center out where there's a whole bunch. Oh. Yeah. So do you see that? It just kind of lightly colors it. So all these different ways to use the shimmer paint. I thought, so that'll be very fun. Karen's keeping a close eye on me. Well, I am. I'm just seeing, do you see how that just grows? So this is like for those of you who detail, so, you know, it's kind of a watercolor look. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. So do I need to push push this some more to... Uh, it, no, I think you do, is you, it coming out good? Uh, yeah, I think it's coming out good. So those are like a whole bunch of different ways. <laughs> Oh, Rebecca, I love your comments. She said, this is all so much fun. So I said this. So these are all just fun ideas of what to do with the poinsettia. Now I'm going to put a link to... It gets much more difficult now that I want to, I want to watch. Okay. <laughs> no. So I will put on my blog, so I'll put a post to that too as soon as it's ready. I'll upload. I have to finish some of these cards and then, you know, I put them on the blog so you can see them in stills. And um, I'll put a link to the video with 10 different ways to use this. So there's a few that we haven't you know, shown here. I think it's really good that you and I do videos. Because mm -hmm. you're much more likely to laugh at my jokes on, on camera. <laughs> Personally. If this was you just, guys relate to that. Yeah. If this was just Karen and I <laughs> sitting around, yeah. I wouldn't get a laugh. Uh, he wouldn't just come sit and stamp with me because I just really would laugh. But that is gorgeous. So how fun. So these are just some fun ideas, both basic and up with the poinsettias. So watch for more and thanks and we'll see oh karen says she has this paint but didn't know what to do with it so great i'll see a bunch of you tomorrow night in the all good cards club and the rest of you next week have a wonderful weekend and, and thanks for watching and read a couple more comments i have to walk around and turn this off and let me just end by saying i do love putting out you know and i've said that before just work on one suite of products, you know, for a couple of days or, or whatever, but, but just put out your scattered things and have all this to play around with because you just, ideas just keep coming on, oh, then I could try this. We've done this and now let's try this. Oh, we love the hearts. Love the thumbs up. Thanks y'all and the smiley faces. Love it. Good night. Bye-bye.